Morning, guys. Yes, yeah, so we've kind of progressively showed you what these kids learn at camp um, when it comes to grooming, taking care of the horse. And now we have saddled them up and the girls are ready to ride this morning. Shara, this is part of camp. Everybody gets excited about riding the horse and we have Tempe to kind of show off first how, how, they, how they do that. Yes. They love riding, that's their favorite part, but there's so much more to camp than just riding. Yeah. So we teach everything leading up to riding. And this, of course, is the highlight of every day is when they get on that horse and they get to ride. Absolutely, and so we have different level riders here. So Tempe, is she a beginner? She is beginner to intermediate. Um, she, depending on the horse is where her skill level is gonna be. So we challenge her sometimes with a little more difficult horse and then we'll bring her back to a more beginner horse okay. to help that confidence remain there and continue to build. And right now we have Penny who just hopped on KD. KD is still hanging with us She's this morning. She's great. She's just wonderful. Penny is a beginner rider. Um, we work on their own individual skill level. Okay. And we have horses suited for all different skill levels. Um, KD is one of our beginner horses. She used to be one of our intermediate and advanced horses, but as she's aged, um, we've lessened her physical workload. Mm -hmm. And so now she's just a beginner horse only. Okay, and then down here we've got Ellie. We who... have Ellie who's one of our advanced riders and she's on Dooley and Dooley is one of our advanced horses. So we won't put an intermediate or beginner on Dooley. So you've got a good range of, of campers here we this do. morning. So talk to me a little bit about, um, you know, your, your camp is, is full, 25 kids in your camp, yes. um, and people are still asking if they can come, and you're considering offering another option in the fall. We are. Um, we've had so much interest. We typically, our camps always fill, but this year they filled so quickly, and we had so many more interested, but for safety reasons, we have to make sure that we cap it at yeah. a certain number, and also for our horses' sake. Right. We don't want to overuse the horses. So we are considering having a camp this fall during fall break. Cool. And if there's enough interest, we will hold that camp. Absolutely, and really quickly, tell me, you know, why do you think so many people are interested? I mean, this is a nice outdoor thing for the kids to do. It is, and I think part of it is coming off of COVID. Um, we were able to continue giving lessons and um, our regular programs during COVID with some adjustments. And I think coming off of that, kiddos just want to get back to some normalcy and the yeah. parents want them to be able to enjoy the summer before they head back to school. Yeah. And I think that's part of it as well. I think there's more kiddos becoming interested in horses too and outdoor, outdoor activities. Well, I just have to say, I mean, I went to summer camp as a kid, never um, with horses. And if I got to do a horse riding camp, I just think I'd be over the moon. So you, can you imagine all these kids who are get to, getting to come to this it's so uh, cool. this week during the summer, guys? I yeah. could totally see Alex doing that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I can too. Right That's up right Alex. up your alley, Alex. Is it the accent? Yep, it is. <laughs> I'll be honest. It's the Arkansas idea. <laughs> exactly.